On the cold winter days in Harlem, the streets are full of life. Children's laughter, the sounds of jazz drifting from bars, and an endless stream of people rushing about their business. This place has been home to the Johnson family for several generations. Their house located on a quiet street is surrounded by tall brick buildings with fences where life is always bustling. Malik Johnson, an 18-year-old high school senior, has always felt like an outsider in this culturally rich environment. Despite being surrounded by it, he chose solitude. Unlike his peers, he's not interested in sports or entertainment, preferring to keep to himself. Every morning, as he walks to school, he hides his eyes under a hood, trying not to attract attention. His world revolves around books and dreams of one day leaving Harlem and starting a new life somewhere far away. His sister, Layla Johnson, is the complete opposite. At 17, she's full of energy, and every corner of Harlem feels like a stage to her. Bright smiles and lively conversations define her lifestyle. She easily connects with those around her and loves spending time with friends, but her strongest attachment has always been to Malik. Despite their differences in personality, their bond is incredibly strong. Malik and Layla grew up in the typical hustle and bustle of the city, but as time went on, they began to notice that their emotional connection went beyond the usual sibling relationship. They spent a lot of time together, often retreating to their room to discuss the most intimate and personal topics, things they wouldn't share with their parents or friends. Layla always took care of Malik, helping him adjust to life and encouraging him when he struggled. With each passing day, their bond grew stronger. Malik started to realize that Layla meant more to him than just being his sister. He often caught himself watching her, admiring her confidence, and the way she naturally became the center of attention. His heart would race when he saw her laugh, or when her eyes sparkled in the candlelight. He felt his body respond to her presence, as if every movement she made stirred a wave of desire inside him. Layla, in turn, supported Malik in all his endeavors, but she also began to sense something new and unusual in their relationship. She noticed how his gaze lingered on her longer than usual, and how his hands would accidentally brush against her skin, sending a shiver through her body. This feeling was both thrilling and terrifying, and neither of them dared to address it, fearing it would ruin their bond. One evening, as they sat on the rooftop watching the stars, Malik couldn't hold back any longer and pulled Layla close to him. Her lips were soft and warm, and he felt her body press against his, responding to his kiss with equal passion. In that moment, they both realized that their feelings could no longer be hidden. Their hands explored each other, every touch filled with desire and tenderness. They seemed to dissolve into one another, forgetting everything else in the world. Malik ran his hand down her back, feeling every curve of her body. Layla closed her eyes, enjoying his touch, and softly moaned as his lips brushed against her neck. He slowly moved lower, leaving kisses on her skin until he reached her chest. Layla shuddered with pleasure as his lips found her nipples, and she pressed herself even closer to him. It was as if they were dancing in the dark, their bodies moving in perfect rhythm. Malik gently removed her clothes, revealing her body for his caresses. Layla, in turn, helped him undress, and as their skin touched, waves of pleasure washed over them. They continued to explore each other, their hands and lips never resting. Malik knelt in front of her, his lips finding her most intimate places, and Layla moaned with pleasure, running her fingers through his hair. She felt her body heat up, and every touch brought her closer to the peak of ecstasy. When they finally joined together, their bodies moved in sync, as if they were made for one another. Layla wrapped her legs around him, pulling him closer, and their moans blended into one. They forgot everything except each other and every movement brought them new waves of pleasure. But even after that moment, they continued to fear destroying what they had. Their relationship became even more intense, filled with passion and uncertainty. They knew they needed to figure out how to be together, but fear of the unknown held them back. One spring morning, Malik was home alone when his parents left for work. After school, as usual, he went down to the basement to look through old things and spend time alone. In the corner, among old boxes and broken appliances, he found a box filled with folders and documents. Curious, he decided to open it. Among old receipts and medical records, he found documents that immediately made him uneasy. 
In one of the folders lay his birth certificate. However, the names of the parents listed weren't the ones he'd known his entire life. At first, he chalked it up to a mistake, but in another document, he found mention of his adoption. The papers contained legal jargon that hinted that his biological parents might have been involved in illegal activities. Malik's mind was thrown into chaos. He couldn't believe that his life was built on a lie. At first, he denied the reality of what he had discovered and chose not to share his findings with Layla. He tried to continue living as before, but now every interaction with his family made him feel internally uncomfortable. Malik couldn't shake the thought that his real parents were hiding something from him. Layla noticed that Malik had started acting strangely. He began avoiding her, spending more time alone, and refusing the evening hangouts that used to be a regular part of their lives. Layla started to feel like their relationship was changing, which led her to deep reflection. They had always been close, but now she realized that her attachment to her brother went beyond sibling love. They had always spent a lot of time together, but now as Malik distanced himself, Layla began to wonder if her feelings for him were something more. She started to question the nature of her emotions and tried to figure out what to do. Layla felt that she was beginning to fall in love with Malik, but she was afraid to ruin their close relationship if something went wrong. This feeling, both thrilling and terrifying, remained unspoken, as neither she nor Malik dared to discuss what was happening. The tension grew with each passing day. Malik, consumed by thoughts of his origins and the lies he had uncovered, became more distant. Layla interpreted this as a sign that Malik felt the same way she did, and her anxiety about her own emotions intensified. Amidst all this, Malik was struggling with an internal conflict. The documents he had found indicated that his real parents had been involved in illegal schemes, and now he needed to decide how to proceed. He couldn't tell Layla about his discoveries, fearing that it would shatter her world and bring them even closer together in the wake of such personal and painful revelations. Malik spends more and more time alone, continuing to delve into his past. He uncovers additional details about his biological family through private databases and research. It turns out that his real parents were part of a large criminal network involved in money laundering and illegal financial schemes. Each new piece of information weighs heavier on Malik's soul. He realizes that the childhood he thought was peaceful and stable was built on lies, created to protect him from the consequences of his past. Malik begins to struggle with the feeling that his life will never be the same. He recalls how his parents always taught him to value honesty and justice, and now he understands that he was just part of a carefully crafted plan to conceal his true origins. Gradually, his state shifts into deep paranoia. He starts to fear that someone might discover his secret. His internal conflict grows, and Malik feels he can't share his thoughts with anyone, not even Layla. He spends sleepless nights pondering his future and how this new information could destroy their lives. The more he learns, the more he realizes that his biological parents left a long trail that now threatens him as well. Layla senses that Malik is pulling away, but can't figure out what's going on. Their evening conversations grow shorter, and their moments of closeness become rarer. Layla continues to doubt herself and her feelings. She realizes that her romantic emotions toward her brother are becoming stronger, but now it feels more like unrequited love. She suffers, unaware that Malik is trying to protect her by hiding his discovery. For Layla, Malik has become the center of her world, and his coldness hurts her more than she's willing to admit. She starts analyzing every interaction, looking for signs that there is still something more between them than just sibling affection. Malik, feeling that his secret could destroy not only his life, but Layla's as well, decides to distance himself from her completely. He becomes cold and detached, believing it's the best way to protect her from the dark secrets that may come to light. Every interaction with Layla becomes a struggle for him. On the one hand, he doesn't want to lose her, but on the other, he knows it's best for her. Malik sinks deeper into his personal turmoil. He begins to feel that he's becoming more like his biological parents, despite his attempts to avoid it. He is consumed by fear and guilt, afraid that the past will catch up with him while realizing that it's ruining his relationship with Layla. For Layla, the situation becomes unbearable. 
She feels that their bond is on the verge of breaking and starts searching for an explanation. The thought that Malik no longer has the same feelings for her torments her. She starts to understand that her romantic feelings for her brother are becoming too dangerous and could destroy their future. An invisible wall of fear, misunderstanding, and hidden secrets rises between them. Despite their inner conflicts, Malik and Layla begin to investigate their family's past. Malik, haunted by the unsettling discoveries he has made, decides to bring Layla into the investigation, but keeps the details of their parents' criminal ties hidden. Together, they start searching for answers, digging through old archives, visiting libraries, and contacting people who might know more about their biological roots. Layla feels that Malik is holding something back, but she doesn't want to press him, afraid it could damage their bond. Malik realizes that they are getting closer to the truth, and every new revelation threatens their safety. He discovers that their biological parents were not only involved in financial crimes, but also linked to more serious offenses, tied to major criminal organizations. Malik understands that their past could not only shatter their current lives, but also put them in real danger if anyone from their parents' criminal connections finds out about them. As the investigation progresses, Malik and Layla's relationship continues to develop. Despite the danger, their emotional closeness deepens. Every moment spent together searching for the truth brings them closer. Layla becomes increasingly attached to Malik, despite growing doubts about the nature of their feelings. Their secret conversations and meetings, filled with both romance and fear, grow even more intense. Malik, immersed in the search for answers, feels that his attachment to Layla is also becoming stronger, despite his inner turmoil and guilt. He understands that by involving her in unraveling their family secrets, he is risking not only their relationship but her safety as well. Nevertheless, they continue working together, solving mystery after mystery. Alongside their investigation, ominous factors begin to intrude on their lives. Malik notices that strangers are following them, and the threats tied to their parents' past become more and more real. Their parents begin to manipulate Malik and Layla's bond to control and use them for their own purposes. Understanding that their children are emotionally connected and vulnerable, they manipulate them by invoking ideas of family duty. Their father often says, family is everything, hinting that Malik and Layla must follow the family's plans and submit to their will. Their mother reinforces this by guilt-tripping them for everything the parents have done for their benefit, further deepening their dependence. Their parents know that if they can control Layla, Malik will be even more manageable. They subtly suggest that their actions are the only way to maintain the family's stability and safety. Layla feels the pressure and is hesitant to go against her parents, afraid of losing their trust and her connection with Malik. Her growing feelings for her brother become not only a source of happiness, but also a tool for manipulation by their parents. Malik starts to feel the mounting pressure. He realizes that his parents are using his emotional attachment to Layla to control his decisions and actions. They increasingly plant the idea that they know what's best for the family, and if he continues to resist, it will lead to the destruction of their shared future. Malik begins to doubt Layla's intentions. He notices that she is increasingly submitting to their parents, and he starts to think that she might be more deeply involved in their plans than he originally thought. Layla, in turn, becomes increasingly confused. She feels responsible for her brother, but also finds herself torn between her parents' pressure and her own emotions. These intense internal conflicts cause Malik and Layla's relationship to begin unraveling. They argue more frequently, and their mutual distrust grows. Malik becomes more suspicious and withdrawn, believing that Layla might betray him for the sake of their family, while Layla can't understand why Malik is pulling away, thinking she's only trying to do what's best to preserve their family and their relationship. In an atmosphere of mutual distrust and psychological pressure, their family seems on the verge of total collapse. Tension builds in the Johnson household, and a typical argument between the parents escalates into a serious conflict. One evening, while the whole family gathered for dinner, the father, under the influence of alcohol, began provoking the mother into a fight. His anger and aggression spiraled out of control. Malik and Layla watched as their father yelled at their mother, blaming her for past failures and the family's problems. At one point, 
Malik tried to intervene to protect his mother, but the situation only worsened. In a fit of rage, the father grabbed a knife from the kitchen table, threatening Malik. At that moment, their argument reached its peak. He threw the knife but missed. Malik, in response to the aggression, tried to disarm him, and a struggle ensued. It all happened quickly. The father pushed Malik, causing him to lose his balance. But reflexively, Malik grabbed the knife in self-defense. One wrong move, and the knife ended up in his father. In shock, realizing what had happened, Malik stood there holding the bloody knife as his father died right in front of him. An investigation begins. The police arrive at the crime scene, and all the evidence points to Malik as the guilty party. His fingerprints are on the knife, and his clothes are stained with blood, making him the primary suspect. Investigators conduct lengthy interrogations, but Malik, still in a state of shock, is unable to give coherent explanations. The family finds itself under the intense scrutiny of the press and public. Journalists portray Malik as a cold and ruthless murderer. For Layla, the situation becomes unbearable. Her heart is torn between her attachment to her brother and fear for her own life and reputation. The police begin questioning Layla about what happened in the house that night. Her mother pressures her, demanding she tell the truth and save the family from further disgrace. The mother portrays Malik as a monster, and Layla begins to waver. Should she stand by her brother, risking her future, or follow her mother's advice and protect herself? Layla's interrogations become more intense. The police discover that she knew about the tension in the family and Malik's psychological state. Detectives start to suspect that she may be a key witness. The pressure from both the authorities and her mother grows, forcing Layla to decide whether to reveal the whole truth or stick to the defense strategy built by her mother. Malik feels that Layla may betray him to save herself, and their trust begins to crumble, further complicating the situation. Malik's trial starts amidst heavy public pressure. The case receives extensive media coverage, and the attention on the family reaches its peak. During the trial, new facts emerge, uncovering family secrets that had been carefully hidden for years. Lawyers on both sides battle for control in the courtroom, with the focus not only on the tragedy with the father, but also on the complex relationships between all family members. Prosecutors argue that Malik acted deliberately, trying to protect himself and his mother, while the defense claims it was an unintentional act of self-defense. Family quarrels, the tension between the parents, and internal conflicts within the Johnson family become central issues during the trial. Additional evidence is presented, witness testimonies about the father's emotional abuse, as well as Layla's statements, which become crucial to the case. Her internal conflict and painful doubts are exacerbated by the pressure from both her mother and the authorities. Despite her fears and the pressure, Layla decides to stand by her brother, testifying that everything happened by accident and that their father had provoked the conflict. Her testimony makes a strong impression on the judges and helps reduce the charges against Malik. After several weeks of tense court proceedings, the verdict is delivered. Malik is found not guilty of intentional murder, but he is sentenced to probation for reckless actions that led to his father's death. The court acknowledges that Malik's actions were provoked by his father's attack. However, even though he avoids prison, both he and Layla face serious consequences. The Johnson family's reputation is utterly destroyed. Harlem wants their home, has now become a place of judgment and gossip. Neighbors turn their backs on them, family friends disappear, and all conversations revolve around their tragedy. Layla struggles with an internal battle, realizing that her connection with Malik, which many now suspect, was the cause of their downfall. Life after the trial becomes a nightmare for Malik and Layla. Despite their attempts to start over, every step they take is haunted by the tragedy that destroyed not only their family, but also their future. Malik, though acquitted, is left with a permanent stigma, realizing that the world around him has changed forever. His name has become synonymous with violence, and people find it hard to believe in his innocence. Finding work is nearly impossible. His reputation is in ruins, and suspicion follows him wherever he goes. Every time Malik tries to get a new job or join a new social circle, the past returns like an unwanted shadow. Layla, too, faces the consequences of their bond. Unlike her brother, she managed to partially preserve her reputation, 
But her life is still full of difficulties. Her social circle has shrunk significantly, and friends distance themselves from her, unable to cope with the fact that she was part of such a high-profile, scandalous court case. She faces constant attacks from others, especially from those who believe she is guilty not only for defending Malik in court, but also for being involved in something more than just family affairs. Malik and Layla move to another city, hoping to find peace and escape the endless gossip and accusations. However, their new life is far from idyllic. Every day they face their inner demons. Malik is consumed with guilt over his father's death and the destruction of their family, while Layla can't shake the thought that their hidden and forbidden love was the source of all their misfortunes. Each evening, when they return to their modest apartment, the silence between them grows more and more unbearable. Malik and Layla can no longer openly discuss their feelings. The weight of their relationship hangs over them. Although they still live under the same roof, the emotional distance between them continues to grow. They are afraid to revisit the closeness that once existed between them. But every time they find themselves alone, the tension is palpable. Despite the fact that the public and the investigation never fully uncovered the depth of their relationship, Malik and Layla can never forget. Their secret, their hidden love, remains an eternal wound that they carry with them, unable to share it with anyone else. Society condemns them, but no one suspects that the true tragedy is not just in their father's death, but in the shattered relationship between the brother and sister, which once meant everything to them. Now both live in constant fear that their bond might resurface. This fear destroys them from within, and although their love remains hidden from the world, its consequences have forever changed their lives. Malik is consumed by thoughts of whether everything could have been different if they had been able to control their feelings. Layla, on the other hand, is tormented by the question, if she had let go of her attachment sooner, would their family still be intact? In the end, their lives become an endless cycle of regret and unspoken words.